Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I thought that as I've spent quite a lot of time messing about in a nasty, irradiated wasteland, that we'd come back to somewhere slightly more pleasant. I'm not going to say that the people are any more pleasant, and we can safely say that the creatures are definitely no more pleasant, but look, we're all sitting by the fire reading. Isn't it lovely? It's lovely. I was doing a little show in the last episode. It largely involved just healing myself, but you know. People enjoyed it. They did. I'm sure that if you asked Boris, he would say that he enjoyed need, it. Friend? Shut up. Anyway, what I need is for this prat to read his book and tell me what to do next. At least I think I do. I can't really remember. Look at me. Look at me. I'm wearing clothes. That's extraordinary. That's not what I wanted anyway. What I wanted was my quest markers. That's not quests. That That's... No, nope. is that quests? That's quests. God, it's been so long. Martin asked me to speak to Joffrey about the mythic dawn agents spying on Cloud Ruler Temple. Oh no, suddenly I don't feel comfortable or relaxed at all. That's terrible. I'll heal myself a bit more. Right, Joffrey. Where is Joffrey? What do you need, friend? I need Joffrey. Now you come to mention it. Is he in here? Joffrey! Don't good walk morning, off. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good, good, good morning. Is it morning? Stop walking Good off. Work tracking down the mythic dawn secret shrine. We finally took the fight to the enemy. We so did. If by we you mean me. Stop walking off. And I'm going to just slam Good the door evening, there to get my point across. Yes. <laughs> Bit like the cupboard lady. Hello. I hope Martin knows what he's doing with that evil book. I fear for what it could do to him if he's not careful. <laughs> we all fear for Martin. <laughs> all of us. Uh, he doesn't need a book to mess up. Ah, yes. I hope you can help. The gate guards have reported seeing strangers on the road for the past several nights. I cannot leave Cloud Ruler undefended while my men search the whole mountainside, but these spies must be eliminated. Eliminated, you say? I will find these spies. Thank you. Talk to Stefan. He can tell you where he has seen them. Captain Bird in Bruma may also be able to help. I've asked the Countess to have the guard keep an eye out for strangers. Bird is the word. Track down the spies and kill them. Find out what they know and what they're planning, if possible. If possible. I'm counting on you to eliminate those spies. We can't afford to let the Mythic Dawn operate out of Bruma with impunity. But you want to know everything that they know as well. Right. So, torture and then kill. I can do that. You see, my athletic skill has just increased. I can do that. Whee! Let's improve my acrobatic skills some more. Did you see how I did that? Incidentally, you lot, you'll notice. Look, I'm going to close the door after after I've left. Because that's what you fail to do. And all your spies will just get in, won't they? And that would be ridiculous. So. They're down here somewhere. I'd have spent the next 25 minutes trying to find out where Broom was. Oy. Ah! Ow. Ah! And again. That was the quick route, though. It's a tad windy and a tad snowy. A bit like real life at the moment. We didn't get any snow, though. Very disappointing. We did get a lot of wind. At one point, it honestly sounded like all of the wind was in my living room. Right, how do I get into this place then? As usual, I've gone the long route when the door was probably just a few feet away from me. And I've now got stuck on a, on a mushroom. I've got stuck on a mushroom. No, I am genuinely stuck on a mushroom. Oh, I'm over-encumbered. What, by picking a mushroom? Really? Damn you, mushroom. Oh, no. Well, at least I can sell some stuff when I get into the town. Um, hmm, what to do then? Perhaps I'll just eat some crab meat. There we go. Stop frame rating. I'm terribly sorry, viewer. For some reason, 
There's a bit of frame rate nonsense going on. It's dotting about between 100 and 9 for no apparent reason at all. Just stop it. This isn't 2007 anymore, you know. I've got quite a good computer. Look at the view. Look at the view. Isn't it lovely? Well, actually, it wasn't quite as lovely as about 20 feet the other way. But anyway, I was a bit late there, wasn't I? The view. No, we can't actually see the Imperial City anymore. Oh, well. Where is the door? I'd have just fast travelled if I thought it was going to be this difficult. Hello. There we go. Hello. 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 I like your outfit, incidentally. But don't stare at me like that. It's weird. I'm in. Right. Rumour has it there are some spies. Spies in Bruma. But I get the impression actually the spies are just outside Bruma, so I'm going to go to Bruma's shops first. Me children are starving. Please help. Children. Nice try. There's a perfectly good church over here. Nobody got my church's 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 reference from the last video, incidentally. You get ten points if you can tell me. Poof! What my... Uh, stupid reference was in the last Fallout video because nobody's got it yet. Yes, uh, you have a big sword. I do, so do I. How can I help you? Um, you can tell me where the shops are. Oh, it's all right. Just found them. Hey. Hello. Ooh, did you notice me dropping in there? I'm just dropping into your shop. What? I said I'm dropping into your shop. Strangers in town? Oh, do you know anything about it? Not that I can think of. People are mostly staying home, what with all the troubles in the world. And your face. Goodbye. Are you selling stuff? I'm Surotan, proud owner of Nova Roma, a little piece of Heartland Empire here in the lofty gels. Good for you. Will you sell my stuff? May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Probably but not half as interested as I am in getting rid of all mine. So, have I ever sold to you before? I don't think I have. I'm going to go for 60% because I'm feeling lucky. Let's test this arrow. Result. In that case, sir, I want you to give me 65%. I still hate this. I hate it. I can't do that. Oh, I see. Your truth is somewhere between 65 and 60 so let's try 64. I can't make that deal. 63. You need to make a better offer. 62. I can't make right, that deal. Right, you annoy me now. The problem is, of course, he'll be down at 60 again, won't he, now? Because he doesn't like me anymore, so... Sigh. Right, good. You take all of this stuff off me. I need to repair my Greaves of the Rhino, so I'll also be looking for uh, an armourer. I will give you this handy robe where you can describe, describe, disguise yourself as a member of the Mythic Dawn and they won't come and get you, which I find is always quite useful. Um, I've also got some nice wine, and I don't know whether I need wine, but I'm going to get rid of it. I then have these, which I do That's not use. Shut up trying to record and these and uh, you might as well have those as well and some imp gore you drive a hard a hard you Do drive I? a shut. hard bug oh just shut up seriously I hate that purge blood salts I'm going to keep those because I'm quite proud of them scales and these wormwood leaves that I nick from outside. Ooh. <laughs> I might go up by 1% now. Why is it, if it's worth two gold pieces, why do you not just go out and pick all the things? Really? It's very strange. Anyway. Shocking touch tome. You can have that as well. I've read it. And then you can have that. That's more. And that. 
and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and good, and that, that's fine, and that, and that. Another satisfied customer. Not really. Bye. Bye. I like the bye there with little apostrophe. Proper grammar. Proper grammar in this town. Anyway, moving on. Let's repair some things. Unfortunately, I can't repair all the things, so I'm going to have to find somebody to do it for me. Are you a repairer? Nord Winds. That sounds kind of weapony. Nords and their winds. Hello. Okay, it's not looking very weapony. Skjorda, Nord Winds. We've got clothes and armor, I knew and it. I've got a headache. So keep your voice down, please. What I don't know about headaches, love, isn't worth knowing. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Oh, you're the clothing outlet, aren't you? Nothing. Take care. I'm Ulfen, the light armor trainer. Skjorda and I run North Winds. Please excuse us. We had a little drink up last night. <laughs> Still a little muzzy. Yeah, they did something to your face. Um, several fairly serious skin grafts by looks of things. Anyway. If I can't fix it, it ain't broke. Good. Unbreak all of those things. Lovely. Did you say you were Let's a trainer? Let's get to training. Oh. oh, there we go. I'm better than you. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. I like the idea of Dondoran's Juggernaut. I think I might be saving up for that. Admittedly, I need 11,400 and something more gold pieces, but at some point... Right. Be seeing you. Oh, you will. When I've got a whole stack of cash. Okay, right. Oh, I think I just went down into their basement. Sorry. It's all right. You don't have to come and get me. I'm not doing anything. Just getting lost. Good. Okay. Right. Have pity, beautiful lady. Oop. I got nothing to eat. Have pity on me because I just took the one route through to the other road that you can't actually get through. Never mind, day. Eh? Oh, there's another armory place there. Do I need anything? I am still carrying an awful lot of stuff. It has to be said. Um, the question is, I don't. Want, I just don't want to get rid of any of it because it's all cool. I got that from the blades. That's got a cool name. I made that myself. Warhammer of Embers. Would you get rid of that? It's just too cool. Then my shocky stuff you're not having. So there, that needs charging and all. Do I have any chargey things? It's been that long. I don't know if I could even remember how to chargey things. Oh, that's right. You need soul gems, don't you? Soul gems, soul gems, soul gems. Oh well. Never mind. I ain't got any of those. I'll tell you a place that might have them though. And need some oil for its doors. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're weird, aren't you? I remember now. Hail. Hello. Do you sell things? Volinaro, at your service. Need a spell? Need an item recharged? Yes! Need a witty practical joke played on someone? No! I can handle it all. Good. In that case... Always keep your magical equipment charged. Rezap my stuff. Blimey, do I not get a discount? I mean, really? Do I not get a discount? Take care. I am a member, you know. Hello. Hello there! Are you here to join the Major's Guild? I'm not a member. That would explain it. <sighs> Do you think his prices would have gone down if I'd just notionally joined the Mage's Guild, despite the fact I'm a Red Guard? I haven't forgotten this. Be seen. I can't join you. I'm a Red Guard. On principle. Oh, look, it's snowing. Oh, isn't that lovely? It's so lovely. After being around the nuclear apocalypse, I'm sort of appreciating seeing churches that Good haven't afternoon. been blown to smithereens and snow that isn't interact interactive? Irradiated, that's what I mean. Interactive yeah. irradiated dust. That would have been a really good line if I've managed to get it out. Anyway. Where are the spies? They're, 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 are they in the castle? Oh, hold up. Do I need to go to the castle to talk to Bird is the Word? Are you going to make me do that first? Because I want to kill the spies. Well, torture them and kill the spies, actually. He's a 
over to the right. Is he behind this door? Are you the word? Yes, you are. I'm Captain Bird, commander of the Bruma Guard. Bird is the word. Except for Jurel coming back from a trip down south, things are pretty quiet. Not much travel right now with the Oblivion Crisis. I've told my men to keep a sharp eye out, but I've had no reports of any strangers in town. What about you? Turned up anything suspicious? No, I've just turned up suspicious. It does bother me how this storyline is extraordinarily close to what's happening in real life at the moment. I apologise if you're offended. All right, anything I can do for you, just let me know. I came all this way for that. Really? What sort of update is that? No strangers are in town. Oh, I've got to go and talk to... Of course I have. Of course I have. <gasps> Hello, Manga! It's been ages! You alright? <laughs> oh god, I didn't just shoot that bloke, did I? No, thank god for that. It's not Mankar, is it? It was Falcar. I haven't got his name wrong. Anyway, it's Maincar. I'm just getting it all wrong now. Before I go any further, is Jerl in the building? No. It's Falcar. It's Falcar. Not Maincar. It's not Maincar anyway, it's Mankar. And if you have no idea what I'm Good talking about, you've got a lot of episodes to catch up on. I can get through this, obviously. I love the fact I can basically fly now. That's really working for me. I've turned into Batman. Is this Jill's house? Yes. The Jill's house is locked. And the psychic guards are around. Do you think Jill ever comes out? Why can he not knock on door? How am I going to get in? I need a lockpick or the key. Damn it! I don't even have any lockpicks. Just as the guards walked off. How do I... Do you think he goes down the pub? What time is it? Should we give him an hour? No, he's still in there. Hmm. Should we give him another couple of hours? Seven of them. Maybe not quite that long. Oh, Joel. Why do you do this to me? That's really annoying. I don't suppose I've got an open open very easy lock but not open easy lock damn it I meant to do that as well no that that's what I meant to do I mean surely that would take down any door wouldn't it oh Joel I blinking hate you are you the only character in this entire place that doesn't have a routine that takes you out of the house at some point it's ten o'clock. You should be out partying. And you're not. Oh, let me in. Oh. Oh. I suppose I don't have any alternative, do I? I'm going to have to talk to stupid Joe. Damn, damn it. Fine. I'll wait all night. If I have to, that's exactly what I'll do. <sighs> Joel, you let me down. Is there a back door? Could I get in through a window? No. Stupid flipping. I've lost my ability to fly as well. Joel, let me in. Let me in. Or come out. Surely you've got to go shopping at some point. Not even joking. They do that. They do that. Joe! What would you do, viewer? Zapping the door down isn't an option. Bashing the door down isn't an option. Jumping up and down the roof isn't an option. What do you do? What do you do when Joel won't let you in? You have to find a lockpick. Or a spell. Maybe the chap at the Mage's Guild has a spell. The problem being that I now don't have any money. Because he took it all off me. 
when he charged my sword up, which is really irritating. And I bet nobody sells lockpicks because they're just not slightly legal, are they? Hello. Hello. Rangers Guild, can you help? I know that technically I'm not a member, but, you know, help. Oh dear. I'm locked out of everywhere now. Oh, I'll tell you what. Hello there. Are you here to join the Mages Guild? Completely not in keeping with my character. Yes, I am. The Guild is always accepting new members. You seem capable enough. Are you sure you want to join? No, but let me in. Very good. You are now an associate of the Mages Guild. What a wonderful opportunity for you. And a complete disaster for now, you. Now I shut up. Not interested. You've given me a key, but Bye. not the key that I need. Hello, associate. If you need anything, just let me know. I need a door zapping down now you come to mention it. Farewell. Where is he? Where is he? Can I get through this door now without being arrested? Yes. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I'm going to just have your stuff, because I can. One of these better be open lock. Is that a lockpick? No, it's a quill. Of course it is. Of course it is. Are you a lockpick? No, you're a dagger. I'll have you anyway. Do people keep lockpicks in their drawers? No. That sounded all wrong anyway. Greetings to you. Chest. Good news from I don't know why I think there's going to be any lockpicks in here. There's not. It's so not. Um. Mages guilds don't have lockpicks. They have weird shit like skulls. Nevertheless, so many things to investigate. And some food, which I can't take because I'll end up over encumbered again. At least I know that it's here. Anybody got a lockpick? Woo! <laughs> oh, flying quills. Blimey. It was almost like it was still attached to the bird. I had a feeling that might get me something. No, you're all too honest. That's your problem. Oh, look at this place. <laughs> Honesty, I know where I'll be coming back to. To take all the things. However, none of this is helpful. None of it. Oh, potions. Yes. Yes, yes I will. Yes I will. Thanks. Unfortunately, you can't make a potion of open lock, or at least I don't think you can. I suppose it's quite possible that you could, it's just that I've never realised. Ugh. Two paintbrushes. Two! Oh, I appear to have found the food. Well, good. That's great. It's not what I came here for. I never thought I'd be disappointed by food. Is there a fighter's guild? Because if there's a fighter's guild, which happens to be here, they might have some lockpicks. They're not completely honest, are they? Hello. What do you want? Lockpicks. Can you I'm pretty my... handy. You, you can repair my stuff as well. Oh. Go hurt something. Well, for a porter, you're doing all right. Oh, Falcar again. He gets around. Pumpkins. About two weeks too late with that. Oh, it's all food. You see, it's all food. I don't want food. Afternoon. Hello. Yes. No, that's the problem. Oh. You too. Yeah, you're useless and all. Paint palette. I'm in a fighter's guild. What are they doing with yarn? And paint palettes. I can vaguely imagine what they're doing with the scythe. And quite possibly with the shovel. But that's not helping. Ugh. You see, there's no such thing as a handy thieves guild, is there? Not in this. In Morrowind, you could have gone to the thieves guild and walked in and said, give me all of the stuff that I need to be a thief and probably a liar as well and they'd have gone yes Jenny no problem well met 
But in this game, oh no, we're all pretending to be honest, aren't we? Joel. Let me in! Surely he's got to move at some point. Maybe he nips out and comes straight back again. And I keep missing him. Or maybe not. Excuse me. Anga, the world weary, they call me. I've been everywhere and done everything. Now I'm settled down for a good long rest. With this huge cache of lockpicks. No. Be seeing you. No, you won't. What do you want? Lock picks. I also want that awesome necklace. Can't you see that I'm upset? Not really. It's too dark. Good riddance. You look like a woman who'd probably have some lock picks. Oh, if I start looking though, you might zap me. How are you? Regner. I'm Regner. You want anything? Lock picks. Talk to Edla. She's in charge. Um, Jill? She's just back from a trip south, they say. Haven't seen hide nor hair of her myself, though. Stays indoors all day long, I guess. I can confirm that that's what, exactly what she does. Farewell. However, I wonder whether Edler, who is... who is inside this house that's locked... You see pickaxes? Pickaxes. You should be able to do something with pickaxes. Knock people's doors down. Security around here is just way too good. Olaf's tap and tap and lockpicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Am I right? What can I do for you today? You can get me into somebody's house. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Yeah, wrong goods. Good journey to you. Excuse me. I'm Olga. I'm a bard and a speechcraft trainer. And I have also had... Hanmund is my live-in partner. Entirely inappropriate. No offense, but I don't want to hear about any Mara Mother Mild and Chapel family business. Plastic surgery. Hanmund and I live together in the old Nord way. Good enough for my fa and ma, and good enough for me. Fa. Today's your lucky day, so let's hear it. Did you ever hear about the ghost of Lord Blindrell? Is he only lockpicks? He haunts the road to Coral. Not that I've ever seen him myself, mind you. No doubt I will at some point. Brilliant. Everybody's locked in their houses. How are you? Nobody will give me a lockpick. I can't get any further until I've spoken to the woman in a house who won't come out. Hey. There appears to be a woman that I could ask about the woman in her house who won't come out, but she won't come out either. I might just be Batman for the rest of this episode. It's easier. Look. Look how far I can jump. It's like being in the asylum, now you come to mention it. Check me out. Oh, nearly did two at once there. Great. Great, great, great. Right. I'll tell you what. First I'll press the wrong key. And then we'll wait a bit and see if the other woman comes out of the house. She might be a night owl, you never know. Of course, she might not be in there at all. I'm just assuming that she is, because I have no quest marker for her. My frame rate's gone up to over 300 now. <laughs> Brilliant. Hail! Hail, 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 Ed hail! Edla Darkheart. If you want to be a marksman, I can train you. If you can breathe, I can teach you. If you have a lockpick, I will love you. Oh, you haven't even got the thing for Jill. Rumours? Do you have a rumour about her? Rumours that she might be coming out today? Poor Arnora. Seems her boyfriend Jerunder has stolen some gold from her and left her penniless. Now he's in jail and she's destitute. I will tell you now that she wouldn't be if she sold that spiffy necklace to me for the 116 gold pieces I've got left. Our Nora and Jerunder were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear he took all of their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. He was going to skip town on Arnora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. 
Now she has no money left at all. Poor thing. Did he also stash some lockpicks with that money? Bye. I might do that instead then. I might do. I might do that instead. If Jill won't come out, I'm going to have to go to Jill. In fact, to be honest, that's exactly where I'll be going if I pick the lock on her door. Boom, boom. Okay, well in that case, let's change quests. Let's change quests to two sides of the coin. I will go back and I will uh, speak to the woman who was really quite rude to me earlier. But it's okay, because this could just be the first step on the way to many, many lockpicks. Gameplay Jenny